on a lacy battling to make his point he did it okay and then he chatted to louise goodman john congratulations you got a point but by the look of you you really had to work for it yeah i'm really pleased for the, the final result because for at the start we uh, we have some problem with uh, the first gear really too long uh, at the first start uh, I saw my teammate uh, flying in the air and I was a bit shocked. But um, I'm pleased to have this point because for sure it will be uh, very heavy uh, for the future of my team. And what about your future? Because there's all sorts of talk circulating in the paddock this weekend. Yeah, it's true. But uh, today, uh, it's a day of uh, happiness. Um, I will uh, explain something a little bit later on. You don't look very happy. I mean, last time we saw you getting points, you were jumping up and down. I'm happy for them. Thank you. Unusual interview that. And does that mean next time we see him in Hungary, he'll be wearing the Jordan livery? Well, you know, we bring you these hot rumours from time to time, but uh, that's why I arrived back in the studio. Like Slightly hot sweaty. Not a hot story. <laughs> Not exclusive, a hot rumour. I've heard rumor. that before, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's why I came running back into the studio just before the start, because the Italian press are convinced that Sean Lazy is going to take the place of, as Heinz Harold Frensen in the Jordan for the remainder of the season from Hungary onwards. Well, who's going to fill the place of Bross? Could it be Frensen? We don't know. But certainly there's a great bond between a Lazy and Eddie Jordan, because they were Formula 3000 champions together in 89 and Eddie's tried to get him in the car lots and lots of times.